The One American Idol, season 14. Nick Fradiani joining us in the Man Cave. His new single, Beautiful Life, will be the Fox Sports theme song for all the FIFA Women's World Cup coverage. Joins us here in the Man Cave. What's going on? How you feeling? Feeling good. It's great. Happy to be here. Yeah? Yeah. So can you um, give us an idea what the relationship is like with you in two days? Because two days while you're performing on American Idol, he would say that you guys used to go out to bars and you would be like a cover band. You'd do you two singing. <laughs> you would jam together. I don't know. Who's, what's his name? Two days. Uh, Dan Overlock. Dan. Yeah. Oh, you don't know who Two Days what's is? What's he look like? Wow, that is awkward. <laughs> I'm just That kidding. is awkward. Uh, two Days was so proud. He said you were best friends. He, he said Dan. bestie. He, were, he used the word besties, he said Nick. Besties, besties. Yeah. So you guys would go out to a local bar. We have played out some bars before, yeah. And it was just you two. Um, I don't know if it was just us two. We had a lot of mutual friends that, had, that were musicians, and so we'd be out at different bars, and sometimes we would interchange. And Who was know, lead so. singer? Um, I think I would probably usually be the you would be lead singer. Yeah, but Dan Dan could sing though. He's a good he's a good musician. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out <laughs> soon. Uh, is it just a coincidence you both have the same haircut? <laughs> yeah, it is a coincidence. It is a coincidence. I mean, he he actually had that haircut first. So I have to give him that. He he rocked that cut for a while. Wow. Yeah. And you decided to follow that. I I, I ripped off two it is. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so when you audition for American Idol. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The first time you do it to when you get on the show, how much time in between? I, I auditioned in October. I think it aired in like January. So it's a, it's a very long process. You know, there's, you go back and forth from LA for, you know, a couple months. And then I think I went out officially in like February. Then you're there from February. And then the, the, I was announced the winner on the 13th of May. So long process. And who was more, who was most critical of you? Usually Harry Connick, he's like the he's like the tough one because he's you know musically he's like a freak he know you know he he knows everything so he he'll pick apart like you'll think you have a good performance and he'll find you know that one note is a little flat here and so he was tough but by the end I kind of I kind of convinced him and he was he was on my side by the end and J Lo <laughs> fell in love with you I would <laughs> I don't I try I was hoping I was hoping but but did you do you out, outwardly flirt <clears throat> with her No no I wasn't flirting Did you know you were flirting with her? I wasn't flirting She was flirting with you. Maybe she was a little bit. I don't know. She was, she's she's pretty awesome. Though. We, the the thing is though, we don't get to talk to them outside. Like what you see, those couple minutes that we talk to them there, that's really it. You don't get to you don't get to speak. They can't out. advise. We you. signed too many contracts to not to, to not talk to them. Really? Outside. Oh yeah. So yeah. she couldn't like like slip a message to you, like a little <laughs> note or something. I I I mean maybe she could have, but she didn't. Unfortunately. Who is the most different? Uh, uh, if the cameras are off, mm -hmm. who's different than their persona on camera? Um. Well, I don't know. I mean, Ryan Seacrest is a really cool dude. I mean, not saying he's not on camera, but like he's like one of the nicest guys. Yeah. So he was really cool. Um, and the like I said, the judges, I don't, I didn't get to know them on like a personal level, really. I guess the the real difference was probably Harry Connick because I didn't get to talk to him. He really refuses to speak to anybody, like while the show's going on, like even outside, like he wouldn't say hi to us, nothing. And then as soon as the show ends, or if you get kicked off, he like goes right to you, and then he talks to you like a, an actual person. So I guess his persona is far different. What's the what's the night like the night before you have to perform? Um, it's a little stressful, you know, but I guess you get used to it. In the beginning, it was really stressful. Then by the end, I was like, would for you know, it, it is what it is. It's like a, you know, it, it doesn't get stressful anymore. So usually, it's just trying to get to bed early and it's a lot of sleep, a lot of water, tea, all that stuff. And everybody is housed together. <clears throat> We were at a, you, you know, they used to have them in like, everybody was in like this big mansion, mansion yeah. and everything. And now they had us in a hotel. So I was the old guy. I was like way older than everybody. There was like 16 year olds and little kids running around. So I had my own spot, Are you the oldest pretty, winner? I think I'm the, even the, even the Taylor Hicks dude was younger than me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked. And started like, dude, you're the old, I'm like, really? So yeah, I'm the absolute oldest. They were calling me grandpa. I was, I was getting really, really? oh yeah. Cause I'm 20, I, I hit the cutoff by like a couple weeks or something. Cause I, I'm 29. You can't even be 29 on the show. That's like, but because I hit, cause I was 28 while I auditioned, I was able to. And who came up with the idea for the women's World Cup song? I don't know. I, that was that was. Um, I think the so the top three, we the three of us had our singles. You know that we were gonna play our coronation song or whatever. <clears throat> and they wanted those songs to. At that point, we knew whoever won was gonna be that their song was gonna be kind of the anthem. 
Um, but I don't know who who did that, but it's pretty pretty cool. But when you're uh, going to write a song or perform a song, you have to get something that rhymes with FIFA and corruption, <laughs> and, and that's not really easy, is it? Yeah, I just was reading up about that yesterday. So is that more along the lines of the men's FIFA, or is it just the whole? I think it's the governing body, FIFA. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's corrupt. Yeah. It's pretty corrupt. Yeah, yeah. sleazy. <laughs> And what do you rhyme with, like, uh, Sepp Blatter, the head of FIFA? Um, These are challenges that not are, all musicians have here. Yeah, I wasn't playing. I mean, luck, well, for me, I didn't get to write this song, unfortunately. This was written, this was written for me, so I guess they didn't, he, didn't have those, he didn't have those notes to go by. But How long are you under <clears> contract <throat> to American Idol for? I think till you know my I think my my they have my firstborn son. <laughs> they have, uh, no, <laughs> I don't honestly I, I I don't even know a long time I think but it's not really American Idol it's a different so I'm I'm signed to Big Machine Records which is new this year um, you know it's Taylor Swift's record label Scott Borchetta so he was like our mentor and he signed the winner this year so it's actually a, a, a really good contract compared to what has happened in the years past so it's really exciting it's it's good stuff but don't you guys go on tour. Is yeah, there an American the, Idol tour? Yeah, there's the Idol tour that starts in Jan uh, July, so that goes for like two months. You, you know, do I think we do 37 dates, and so I'm I have to do that. That's like an obligation that I'll be doing. So I'll I'll do that for two months, which is the top five of uh, the top five contestants will go out and do all that, and then after that, I got to get to work and put out an album. The biggest crowd you played in <clears throat> front of before American Idol. My band, we actually won a radio contest. We opened for Sticks and Ario Speedwagon at, at Mohegan Sun. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Yeah. I love that. Dude, it was awesome. That was probably, it's probably still might be the coolest thing. I mean, one <laughs> idol, but then we opened for Sticks and Ario Speedwagon. Now, were you doing cover <clears throat> stuff with your with band? No, we were doing... So, we actually were on America's Got Talent like a year ago. And we were called Beach Avenue because we lived right down the street in Milford. Um, on Beach Avenue with Dan. Dan lived in the house So, with two us. days was down there with you. Yep, he was in the house. But why the, didn't he get in the band with you? I'm not. He started playing bass with us. I think we had our first rehearsal. If I remember correctly, Dan was playing, and I think he, uh, I think he went elsewhere. He was like not feeling it. So he's Pete Best. He missed out on the Beatles. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm just feeling a different musical direction right now. <laughs> I forgot what happened, but I definitely remember I'm the going, first audition. I'm going solo. Is what I'm doing. <laughs> Were there artistic differences, Nick, between you and Two a Day? <laughs> Not really. I mean, we like kind of similar. We like kind of similar music. He likes a little more folk, uh, how do I, like um, singer songwriter, acoustic-y stuff. I think I like more rock stuff. But oh no, we like a lot of the same music. <laughs> uh, yes, you have a question, Paul. Yeah, the Danettes have a lot of questions. <laughs> oh, well, no. you know, you could sing. You got good haircut, kind of like two days. Can you screen phone calls and get breakfast? <laughs> I actually texted wow. Dan last night and asked if I could get you yeah, guys you like coffee you anything, did. and he said, he's yeah. like, no, I got it under control. But, <laughs> like, but, but, don't try to step on my toes, But bro. prior to American <laughs> Idol, did two days sort of rub it in your face that, hey, I'm on TV? Well, I used to, not really, but I used to, I remember there was one point when I was, I would, you know, I didn't have, I forgot if I was in between jobs or something, but I'd just be sitting there and he'd, he'd always be up earlier than everybody. He's up at like 4.45 or whatever. And I'd be sitting there watching him like, oh, this guy's got the coolest <laughs> job. I wish I had his job. I would always, I remember thinking that. I was always jealous of yeah, him. Yeah, he gets to answer phone calls here. Yeah, but this and place on is TV. sick. I'd come in here and answer phone calls on, on my days off. This is awesome. All right, are you ready for this <clears throat> sing-off with two of days? Well, I, I don't know what I'm going to do because my voice is gone, but I, I'm, I'm going to have to figure something out to, to beat Dan. We'll see. Do you think that... <clears throat> That uh, he was up all night, like yelling and screaming and drinking whiskey, so he would have this voice, so he could use this excuse. So <laughs> this is two days moment, Nick. Th this is, I mean, if he's got, if he ever had a shot, it was yes. right now. Yes. it was right now. If yeah, J Lo right is watching now, <laughs> which I assume she is, I would, I would, I would assume so. Yes, yeah. yes, Paul. <clears throat> what? We have a theory that uh, Nick's trying to set the bar low for himself so he could just oh, yeah. oh, put the yeah. hammer down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it, not, it, it's like LeBron. Do you hear me right now? I sound like... <laughs> like LeBron, I made it to the finals, didn't right. think I'd made it to the finals. <clears throat> Meanwhile, two days is Steph Curry. <clears throat> He's expecting to win here. Wow. He's uh, Nick Front. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Fradiani, the uh, winner of American Idol season 14, and uh, his new single, Beautiful Life. Uh, where's that event? Can people download that? Yeah, it's up on iTunes. Oh, good. And, and, yeah, it's all over the place. Okay, for, uh, Fox Sports theme song to all the FIFA Women's World Cup coverage. Back with what could be the end of a friendship between two of days. <laughs> If there was a friendship, we don't know if there was a friendship. <laughs> there was. It yeah. is two a days making his <laughs> national debut against the winner of American Idol. Woo. That's next, right after the break. This is the Dan Patrick Show.